Ever said. It's great for all of us to be out here supporting this event, but this is not just the place to be right now. I'm an Oakland native. I have no respect for anybody with a badge or without a badge who wants to grade my city and tear it down. We got people over by the police department acting a fool. Everybody over here right now and you're smiling and you're part of the whole movement, but what are you going to do two weeks from now, two months from now, six months from now, and a year? It is great to be here right now and be so down with the cause right now, but what is your ass going to do when you go home and wake up tomorrow morning? So I can say I appreciate everybody being out here just like myself, but I challenge you all to do something other than just tonight until midnight or whenever you choose to go home. Because it means absolutely nothing if we sit up here and talk a good one on this microphone this whole time and do absolutely nothing when you go home. You are no better than the people who go and fuck up the city. You are here to be seen, get 15 seconds of time on a camera, and that means absolutely nothing in the bigger picture. Today is my brother's fifth anniversary of his death, you feel me? And he died over some fucking fireworks, and this man got shot in the back with his handcuffs to his back, though. You feel me? Tell me how you gonna not charge this man with murder, and the nigga had a fucking gun in his hand. How you not gonna charge this nigga with murder, man? I'm just saying, though. What you saying, though? Involuntary manslaughter? What the fuck is that? Give me the definition of it. It's shit. Sugar, honey, iced tea, what you do every day. You put it in your coffee, right? So stop playing with this fucking life, man. Wake the fuck up. You only got one, man. Got computers, check Google. There's fucking atrocities taking place in this country every day of the fucking week. And none of y'all even stop and take notice, do you? The cops just murdered somebody today and you don't even know their fucking name yet. You hear what I'm saying? So fuck standing here for one day begging for justice when we've been facing atrocity for damn near 500 years. You feel me? So what y'all need to really get to understand, this system is not a just system. So you cannot beg a monster to suddenly turn around and be a pretty dog for you. It's not gonna happen. You have to get together, stand the fuck up, learn these laws. So then you will learn how to beat this fucking system. But you cannot sit and run these streets, ignorant as fuck, don't go to school, and think you're gonna beat this system that was designed to murder you. Like what just said, all you little punk ass murder squads running around Oakland? You think you tough because you got a fucking AK and they got a 50 round clip? How many bullets do you think is sitting on 12th Street right now? They shit will gas this whole crowd and they won't even run out. So when you knock somebody down in these streets, of course they don't rush to convict you because they sitting at home drinking coffee and applauding your asses. Telling you thank you for killing yourself so I don't have to do it and possibly end up on a motherfucking bogus ass trial. Like Russ said when he was at that courthouse, man, save your fucking tears because it ain't time for crime. It's time to stand the fuck up, get together, and fight back if we have to, but know how to fucking do it. Thank you. But it's up to us to make revolution, to actually step forward, get with this party, the Revolutionary Conference Party of Bob Avigny, this leader, who actually not only has never given up on revolution, Keeping their understanding and actually have a way forward. What we're looking for, a handful of people at this time. Is let this be more than one day worth of righteous anger. I spent a lot of time doing the work of movement. I do the work in the movement. And I ain't seen a lot of you. And I spent a lot of time feeling really helpless and hopeless. But I actually, as, as mad and depressed and angry and upset as I am today about this verdict, I'm hopeful. Because there's a lot of us out here. Now, we're happy and we're sad. We're happy that the word guilty has come with an unarmed shooting of a black man by a police officer. More than 30 years you haven't heard that word. No police officer has ever been convicted. So we're happy that's the guilty. We're happy and we're sad. We are happy on that point. But we want more. Yeah. We want more. Yeah. He, was, he did have a pistol on him, but he was shot in the back of the head. And so, 
So I know the feeling. I know, I know the feeling. It was my first year of Mr. Cooper. Imagine getting that call that my little 18-year-old nephew got his head blown off by the police for running away from something. So I know how you feel. Not nary another black or brown baby in these streets dead. So be smart. No, this this is shut down. This coordinated thing is shut down at eight o'clock. Be smart. Be safe. I love you guys. So tell me he didn't know where his taser was at. When the taser is about four to seven ounces, and the gun is about forty to forty-five ounces, that's the difference between me picking up a small can and a forty ounce. That's the difference between him pressing the fucking button and pulling the trigger. I'm talking about, I've been pressing for first degree premeditated murder from the beginning. I say if he unholstered his gun, I say if he took it off for of safety, then shot the man in the back, then what is that? Exactly. And they try to get us here together about peace. It's about peace because we don't want to destroy property. We don't want to tear down buildings. We want to tear down this fucking system and build up a system for the people. For the people. That's what we want. Shot down by my son got shot down in front of my house by the same bullets Oscar Grant got shot down by. Okay? Justice for Oscar Grant. Justice for Maurice Robertson. Justice for Oscar Grant. Here's my son right here. My beautiful black son who got killed. Okay? Yes, I'm an angry woman. Hey, man. He's a political war. That's what he is. A political war. All the time. You're a political war. It's totally different. You're a prostitute. That's what you are. them than it is us. So my suggestions to you, what we've been asked to, what we think is the safest to do, go down Broadway, go down 14th, or go through the plaza to avoid the wall of police. And that's, that's all I'm going to say. Power to the people. Power to the people. No justice. No justice. No justice. No justice. No justice. No justice. I am. I am. Good night.